Xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields will be kept under lock. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, Starfield players. Welcome back. Dread is here. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. <laughs> There's no fooling you. Don't worry, this is a much lower stake opportunity. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Star Yard, eh? I would have to say yes. Yes, I am. Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. Well, you can't see it, but I'm smiling. That sounds awesome. I'd like to go and build some ships. So the mission is over-designed. Go to Stroud Eklund's shipyards. What do you think? Wear Barrett's outfit? Every time I get near Mast, I think they're gonna arrest me. There's a crow there! Get him, boys! <laughs> Those on official United Colonies business can access the building. Hmm. Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. I do. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. This is where I belong. Great. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Hmm. United Colonies System Defense. Uh. Does that help you figure out exactly what it is we do? Ha <laughs> ha. Why didn't you UC tell me? Is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. If whatever you're selling lets me off the hook, then I'm listening. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. 
If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? It's like red, blue, or red pill, blue pill. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. That didn't work out. All right, let's go. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that uh, Barrett's clothes so, are getting me into some trouble. Instead of serving the time, gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Don't make me a for trading a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Pardon, like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? You do know I have a gun in my hand, right? I don't do save games. I'm not authorized to answer your questions. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Howdy. Good. Excuse me. Yeah, no problem. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. If there's fleet out there, we'll find them. Nice. Yes. Yes, what? Hey, Sis Def Marines are the best of the best. Are ya? How good are you? See all that chest candy on Commander Ikande? Yeah. That means he's seen some shit. That's pretty good. By the way, uh, I'm trying to remember, is it R? If I hold R? Yeah, I put my gun away. Good day, sir. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. SysDef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you <sighs> lock your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. All right, well, unfortunately... Mr. Sam Co. I don't think this outfit's helping me out any. I'm not wearing any of Barrett's clothes ever again. I can't believe I got arrested. Arrested by you, you schmuck. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. 
While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? The more evidence we acquire, the stronger our case becomes. And knowing the Crimson Fleet, they'll leave plenty of evidence for you to find. We'll be here if you need us. No problem. Yes. What? Lieutenant Jillian Toft. Okay, hello. Hi. Yeah. What do you think, Sam? So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <gasps> Dude, I'm arrested again. You know, I was supposed to be shipbuilding right now. Okay, can we just go and pretend we're pirates? Your kind words are appreciated. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? Oh. <laughs> Now you're gonna make me blush. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? I've been trying to talk to you for a while. There needs to be a bigger word than thanks. More than gratitude. And whatever that word is, I feel that way towards you. I'd be dead. Flat out dead if it weren't for you. Wow, I... It's speechless. <laughs> Words... For my sake... For Cora's sake. Thank you. How are you holding up? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just... Really would like to give you back your map. I really just wanted to get that your menu, not all this walking. Anyway, something. Yeah, let's trade gear. Yeah, Want finally. Me to Sidonia, <laughs> search for evidence. Okay, yeah. So Sidonia. Hello. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Hmm. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. My faith in the seedy underbelly of the settled systems is restored. <laughs> There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Not many places older than Aquila. But this... old stories... Old planet. Right. Is there a bar here? Right. There is a bar here, of course, from the beginning. This grumpy old guy at the bar. Hey, Adler. Here to serve me another drink. You can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say, 
I have a certain influential affiliation. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved, I'm your guy. Right down to business, and no small talk. I like it. This whole thing's given me the worst sort of deja vu. If you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. Ugh. This is why I hate dealing with people like that. Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. What? Oh my god. He might come after them? Because of me? I hadn't even thought of the possibility. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Well, I'll get stuffy sometimes. Only employees of the Star Yard Mining Division are... Hey, it's my personal savior. Have something for me? There, would you look at that. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. I think it is. I want to steal it. Evidence. Ava, sit down, have a drink. So, smooth jump into the soul system. I don't have any you other work right now, you. so piss off. Cut the crap, Adler. All right, all right. There's only so long I can stand a single minor sweat and stale beer. Okay, okay, take it easy. Feel the fleet kick back, just like I promised. What is this bullshit? This is half. Half of what you promised. No reason to get upset, sweetie. Security around Sidonia's been cracking down, and it's tough to get the demo on the to play ball. That means I'm spending big on bribes, covering lost shipments. This isn't exactly like running a pharmacy up here, you know. Greetings, Adler. And I will make this simple enough so even a total imbecile like yourself can understand. One. I don't give a damn about your excuses. You I owe us your freedom out problem. on time every month. Still haven't really taken and two, Mars. you call me ever again. And I'll shove my knife so far up your ass that people think you for a unicorn. I, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Neva. I'll make it back. Here's the rest. That's more like it. I'll see you in a month. He's getting extorted. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and come back for more Starfield action.